Obviously, these characters go on a journey, but I think what is compelling about and, and terrific about this story is that the personal journey that these characters go on and this whole kind of arc that for you as a, as a filmmaker and storyteller must have been a joy to want to bring to the big screen. Yeah, you know, I really wanted to tell that, that journey authentically. I wanted to be on the road. I wanted them to feel the pavement under that car and have the landscape in, inform their performances, their characters, and that love story. Um, I pushed to shoot in, in three, at least three different states, and we did. We started in Cleveland, um, and we traveled south to New Orleans and then to Mississippi. Um, I also see it as a reverse slave escape narrative in a way that they're traveling south instead of north. Um, and it was really important to start in Cleveland. You know, Cleveland was the last stop on the Underground uh, Railroad before slaves would get to Canada. Historically, it meant so much to us. Um, it also has a death penalty, which is very important to Queen's character. And it's where Tamir Rice was killed. So it, it had a lot of parallels with our story, and I wanted to honor, um, I wanted to honor that and honor the people whose lives were taken by police brutality um, and show the black experience in America in a way that we haven't seen before. And um, the, the, you, shot the sh you were able to shoot the film chronologically as well? We weren't. Somebody is spreading this rumor around <laughs> town today. Um, we, we did start in Cleveland, uh, which is when they're pulled over, but uh, we started at the beginning of their relationship in a way, yes. Uh, but no, we had to kind of jump around a bit and you know keep track of the timeline of their love story and where they were and where they were moving to. I don't know who's spreading these rumors. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you who that. told me. <laughs> would have been a lot easier. Somebody in the film. <laughs> yeah, it would have been a lot easier. It's like time goes by and how quickly we forget. Um, but I have not forgotten. Uh, no, it was, you know, it's tremendous. Filmmaking is difficult and, you know, keeping track of where they are um, in terms of when you're shooting is, you know, is, is quite difficult. So I remember that task, <laughs> even if our actors have not. <laughs> and and we're in the beginning of the film, these people are strangers. So I wondered, with, and we see obviously, that, that their kind of relationship evolve. Did you want to keep the rehearsal minimal as well to kind of make the, the experience for the actors more organic? Yeah, I, I actually did. I wanted to keep it, you know, minimal. Also, we were forced to keep it minimal because we just didn't have time. Um, so it worked, I guess, in both ways. But yes, I didn't want them to be too familiar with each other when they first meet. Um, and I wanted to, to see their relationship grow. And I wanted to be a witness to that as our audience is witness to it. So. It was both a blessing and a curse, I guess, that we didn't have a lot of rehearsal time, um, but we concentrated on the pivotal moments in rehearsal, but we, we tried to keep it as, as loose as possible. That's it from the UK premiere of Queen and Slim. It's time for us to hit the road and time for you to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time.